the Labor Party the because it represents the working has people. Expired. I thank the member for Hasluck and I call the member for Monash. Thank you, Deputy Speaker, and thank you for giving me the call. Deputy Speaker, a couple of home truths. One, I have been a member of a union. Two, when the CMFEU Forestry Division needed help in my electorate many years ago, who did they turn to? They didn't turn to Labor. They didn't turn to a Labor senator. They turned to me for help. They turned to me. A further home truth. If 45 per cent of unionists in my electorate didn't vote for me, I wouldn't be here. <coughs> what I'm saying to you is this. There's a place for all of us in our communities. But when a union involvement turns negative in the long term, in the short term, in the election campaign, I can understand the CMFU putting $100,000 into my Labor candidate to get rid of me. That's part of the process we're in. If I'm vulnerable and you can see a, a way to get to me, well, go for it. And in the last election, sadly, sadly, they used the aged care sector as a battering ram against me who has been a solid supporter of those people that work in aged care for all of my career, all of my career. Yet the union came along and said, this guy liberal, bad. Except my aged care sector said, this guy liberal, good. <laughs> and I survived when others didn't because of our commitment to those people who work in aged care, work in the hospitals, work in all of those areas a member for McEwen mentioned. That if we don't care for our least paid, our most vulnerable, our disabled, our elderly, we are the lesser for it. The point I'm trying to make here is this, that I, I go back not too far, probably only 30 years, and there was a program run by the union to say that the education system in Victoria is a disgrace. So you'd say to the parents, oh, in your school, oh, no, not in my school, in somebody else's school. The last campaign, um, aged care is in complete disarray. It's a disgrace. Oh, in Mirbu North? Oh, no, 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 not in Mirbu North. No, no, it's wonderful in Mirbu North. Oh, well, you, you mean down in Foster? At, 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 no, 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 Foster's fantastic. Oh, what about Lyrebird at Druin? Oh, no, no, Lyrebird's fantastic. Well, what do you want about? There is one particular nursing home. It's a new nursing home in my electorate that has never asked me to come and visit, never asked me once to come and visit, that there was a problem that the union could identify. One nursing home. In all my not-for-profits and for-profit nursing homes, one place where there was a problem. But that was oh, shock horror. You know, aged care in Monash is a disgrace. So we have this national campaign coming through, rolling through, telling everybody that their nursing homes are a disgrace, and they're not. They're not. And as I mentioned before in a previous address to this House Deputy Speaker, I said I end up the morale amongst workers in my aged care centres was so low I had to write to every aged care centre to tell them how much we appreciate them, tell them that they're doing a fantastic job, tell them that the families of the, of the people that they're caring for appreciate everything they do, every move they make, every time they are addressing even those that don't have families and don't have visitors and don't have friends. Because they go into those nursing homes, they go into a family. And that campaign was negative because it besmirched, besmirched every aged care centre, and that's what they felt. That's what the union did. And they ran a very strong campaign. They, they had demonstrations outside of my office. They did the lot. During election campaign, I've got to accept that. That's the way you want to go. But there are always, always long-term consequences for those sorts of campaigns, like Medicare, you know, which was just an outrageous scare campaign that worked. And the Labor Party said, "No, no, it was good campaigning from us. 
There are consequences for everything that you do. And I appeal to everybody that to have, be very careful of that type of campaign.